Afternoon my friends, welcome to RTR TV. I've come back to the abandoned enclosure because I haven't been here for months actually. And there's a lot, of, I know there's been a lot of work going on in this, uh, this woodland. I didn't actually know if this would still be standing, but luckily it is, it is still there. So I bought myself some peri peri chicken to fry up today. And I'm gonna do it on the little BCB burner with some dragon gel. See how it does that, see how it handles a stir fry. But in the months that I haven't been here, this has appeared out of nowhere. Yes, so this is a new addition. Let's actually go around to the front. So, someone has obviously been here in the intervening months. I think the last video I made here is when I tested out my um, my little £2.81 wood stove, cheapest one I could find. So, uh, yeah. That's the last time I was here, and I can't remember when that actually was. February, something like that, maybe. But like I say, I didn't know this was still going to be standing. I'm so glad it is. So let's get in there, get the old BCB burner going. So everything's still okay in there. I put all that wood there a couple of years ago, I think. So I don't think anyone's actually been in there. But I'm just gonna sit on the old, uh, that log there, like I have done in the past. Drop my kettle. So yeah, for the little BCB, big bag full of, full of uh, fire dragon gel, non-toxic, odourless, 100% natural, so it can't be bad can it, so get this out, I'll show you what I've got, I'll show you what I've got, got it from the reduced section in Asda, Peri Peri chicken thigh fillets. So hopefully that'll be very nice. See how it goes. Never done them before. Never cooked chicken thighs in the woods before. Right, let's get this BCB going. Put the little windshield in as well. Got a little bit there that says out. So that bit goes on the out side. In. But I think I'll have this like that. So yeah, because I've got the frying pan, so it'll probably be better for that, won't it? Squeeze out this gel. There we go. Obviously I'll be taking all my rubbish with me. So that's the right thing to do. So let's get this lit. There we go. Lit in an instant. I think I'm gonna to have to push this in a little bit for that. Maybe I'll have it out just a little bit before it gets too hot to handle. There we go. That's good. That'll do the job. Got the old huntsman. Uh, Any coffee, because you can't tear these coffees very easily anymore, and they don't actually tell you what's in there. Which I don't think oh, it does. Irish. Even so. You know. Got the old RTR cup back out 
I know some of you missed it <laughs> in the last video. Here he is, Old Faithful. Got some olive oil. If I can open it. I've hurt my index finger. Really hurts. Tendinitis. Too much guitar playing, I guess. Too much playing guitar and ukulele. Actually, I think it's the ukulele that's done it. Got some oil in there ready. I think it's a typical case of not reading the packaging again. Because it says here, oven cook. Which is a bit annoying. Cooking instructions. Yeah. We'll try it. We'll try it, see what happens. Yeah, kettle boiling, that's something. It's good, it didn't take too long. I'm gonna get this going while I can, because that ain't gonna last very long in there. Get all the heat out of it I can. Get this going, see what we've got. Obviously, take the uh, sauce bag out. Cool. A lot there, isn't there? Spread them about a bit. More than I thought. There we go. Don't know how long this is going to take to cook. Oh, yeah. But I thought I'd try it. Ooh. It's a bit awkward at the moment. So I'm going to need to put a new gel in in a sec. Stuck on the coffee. Okay. I'm going to check that gel, see how long it's got. Probably only got a couple of minutes left, I would have thought. It's nice to actually be back out in the woods, particularly here. I have to say, there's a lot of work going on in this woodland and uh, place where I, the crater I used to go to, have cookouts every now and then, that's now open. I might take you there in a minute. Uh, I didn't know if this was going to survive it, so uh, I'm glad it did. There we go. Should uh, get it going again. Take the rubbish with me. I'll get another one out ready. Sun's shining on that quite nice, isn't it? Look at that. Cooking away nicely there. And the old PCB. Works a treat, that one. Do like that. Handy thing to have. Doing it, isn't it? It's doing it. Put the picture on for chipping there. I'm just going to uh, 
cut into that, see how it's doing. That's the thickest bit. Yeah. Very nearly done that. Give it, give it a couple more minutes and I'll put the sauce in. Not long now and it'll be the summer holidays. Can't wait, can't wait. I thought this woodland would be quite wet and I wasn't wrong. We've had so much rain again. July weather in Britain. Oh my god. Worst it's ever been, I think. Terrible weather. Let's try that bit. Mmm. Very nice. Right, I'm going to put the sauce in now. This, this chicken is already very spicy. So it's going to be even spicier. I think. Let's get all that in there. And I think I'm going to need to put on another fire dragon gel oh. I'm mess all on my hands oh. I don't actually want to uh, get my hands anywhere near that Get it stirred in, coat everything, all this chicken, so I'm pretty sure it is cooked, you know? but because it's chicken, I'm going to leave it on for a bit. I think that's a sensible thing to do. So I use three gels for that, for the um, to cook the chicken, doing the coffee. And I think it's done it a treat. Wonderful. I'll bring you back when I'm dishing this up. Yeah, see that's done, you know. Definitely say that's done. I just wanted to make sure. There you go, look. Lovely. Right, I'm going to dish this up. that to burn out now. Fantastic. Do it in the oven. Cool. I'll use the old Huntsman I think to cut. Look at that nice big plate of um, chicken thighs. Never had chicken thighs in the woods. I'm just going to leave that to burn out as well. Let's try a bit of this. Yeah, I was right, it's very spicy. Mmm. Nice bit of dark chicken meat there. Lovely. Mmm. Oh. Peri peri chicken. 
Where is Piri Piri from? Is that is that Caribbean? Is that Jamaican or or is it African? I'm not sure. Oh. Answers in the comments. I'm not gonna look it up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Jamaican. Or Caribbean. Mmm. Bring it back a minute. Perfect lunch. Love that. Mmm. It's nearly burnt out now. Almost. <laughs> the chicken's almost gone. Look at that. Lovely chicken thighs. Very, very nice. Still burning. So I would say <clears throat> it probably takes two and a half of those. I don't you're burning three, aren't you? But you know. Beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. That hit the spot, to be sure. Still got a bit of coffee left. The last flickering flames are about to go out. See it in the corner there? Just about to go out. <clears throat> that side's gone out. That side is about to. Still a little. Ah, there you go. It's gone. And what I'll do, I'll let that cool down. And I'll, um, I'll scrape that out with the uh, screwdriver on me, Victorian Ops. Try and keep it clean. Although these things are only about £3.50. Not expensive. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> Glad it's still standing. The old enclosure. Give this plate a little bit of a clean, I think. I mean, fork. Obviously, I clean it properly when I get home. Most of it off though, wasn't it? Got a little sponge oven. Got with a cook set. I should uh, maybe I should keep that in my bag for just these occasions. Let's give it another bit of a. Uh, oops. lid getting in the way. There we go. A lot better. One of us cooled down yet. Is that a feel? Not enough. <laughs> Not quite enough. I think this is going to need a bit of a soak. <laughs> yeah. Served me well this frying pan. I've had this since... I think I used it just first for the first time just before the lockdown started. In one of my first videos. First 14 videos I made before lockdown. So yeah. Seen better days. But I've burnt the hell out of it. <laughs> well, it's cool enough to handle now, so get the screwdriver out 
and hack away at that, um, take the windshield off, get rid of this crud that's in the bottom here. And it's all natural, or so it tells me it is, so. I mean, I know it's only cheap, but I'll try and look after it a little bit. Should have I? There you go, look. Coming up is one whole thing then. Let me get this screwdriver. Look at that. Came out in one go. Weird, eh? Hmm. I'll take that with me. Put it in the rubbish. And obviously the windshield goes in there. Get this up. <coughs> Stick it in the bag with my dragon gel. Put that away. Just finish my coffee, I'm just going to give the cup a quick rinse as well. So, uh, <laughs> I'm glad people missed my uh, RTR mug. We've been on a few adventures. Me and the uh, take got a few knocks in it now, look, you see all the knocks. <laughs> All over. Yeah. Ooh, sounds like there's a crow scarer out somewhere. <laughs> Good old RTR mug. Bought for me by Mrs. RTR secretly. <laughs> right, <clears throat> let's get packed away. So there you go, look, left no trace, as you only where my feet's been. That'll all soon spring back. Nothing behind there, no. Cool. Let's head out. This is the only way out. Through this little gap. Ooh, hang on. Not as agile as I used to be. I wonder if that was built by the same people who built the enclosure. They see the way they bent that branch over. It's cool. It is cool. I'm gonna have to come back here a few weeks' time, see if any more's been added. I just hope they don't take stuff away from that. That is just too good, isn't it? Right, I'm gonna head towards where my old crater is. Just wanna see what they've done to it. Bring you back when I get there. Well, it's just the two yew trees between these, I mean, a couple of years ago, you still see the remains of the wood I built my lean-to shelter with. I'm going to just show you what's happened. Can't believe it. I know they've had some ash die back, but everything's gone. <laughs> see if I can find the crater. Yeah, this is it. This is my crater. I should like coming in here because I could uh, get below below the old um, look, see level with the uh, ground now. But I used to do my cookouts on this stump, you know. I used to do my cookouts on here. Put me wood burner on there or something. Look in here my secret stash of wood for the next time. Oh. 
Now look at it. Let me get up on here. On this stump. What a shame. But then again, it is a working woodland, so it's bound to happen, isn't it? Oh well. Plenty more places to find now. There you go, look. There's my crater. Oh. Uh, and on that bombshell, I think it's time to hit the road. Lovely, lovely Perry chicken thighs. Whew, full up now though. <laughs> right. I will say it this time because I keep on and on forgetting. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. That would be absolutely wonderful. I know I don't say it. I just gotta keep forgetting. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for coming out with me on this adventure. I'll see you next time on Roving About, wherever it may be. I'll see you then. Bye. Oop.